Once upon a time, if I wanted to make a motion graphic to use as part of a marketing asset, I had to do it all myself. In fact, I think I have an older video where I walked through how I made a motion graphic for our homepage, but the good news is that now I have budget, I can hire people who are much more talented at animation than me. I thought it would be interesting to share with you what role I play in the motion graphic creation process now that I am a creative director and I'm not like making the animation hands on myself. I have a real life project to share with you in this video. We're working on a new campaign for the release of a new feature and I'm gonna take you through the process from start to finish. So here's what's happening. We are releasing a feature called the Creator Network. It's basically a way for creators to recommend other newsletters when someone signs up for their email list. We're making a video for the like launch campaign and it's gonna involve some motion graphics. So where our process starts at the moment for getting a video like this made is our filmmaker, Henry, who is on the brand studio team that I lead. He creates a video treatment doc that outlines like the footage he thinks we should use, the voiceover, the motion graphics we should add. Folks from both the brand and the marketing team collaborate on this give feedback, make tweaks. We're in a really good place right now with the treatment doc for this video. So now I am getting started working on like a motion graphic storyboard for it. And my first step here is actually to like take the voiceover in the visual direction and put it into Figma because I'm a visual person and I much prefer to see things laid out on like more of a timeline like this, especially when it's something video related. So I have a frame with a voiceover. This is what's gonna be said at this time. Then I have like some direction on the animation, what I think it should be doing. And then there's a, a wireframe, I've put a note here. A wireframe for what the motion graphic should look like, what it should represent. Some of them are more finished than others. This is a pretty nice looking stylized app UI. But as we get further down here, you can see that I have one that is just absolutely not. <laughs> this is gonna act just like a brief document that I send over to Superside. They are the creative as a service company that we use to outsource some design and motion work to. And I found that laying things out like this helps make it super clear what it is we need from them. I'm gonna wrap up this brief and then I'm gonna record a little loom video just talking through it as some additional context. And you know what? Just so you can really see the behind the scenes of this very real project that I'm working on, I'm gonna include the loom video for you to see as well. Hey everyone, just wanted to talk through my thinking for this Creator Network campaign video. Um, I have written some animation direction in here and in here you see the voiceover that'll be being said at the time, but I thought it would still be useful. Um, one important thing I wanna note is that all of these uh, graphics that you see in these frames are essentially placeholders. Some are more like finalized than others, like this is the stylized UI that should be used, but I'm expecting that it gets added to a background or you know whatever you wanna do with it to make it feel like an engaging animation um, and to tie in with um, some of the stuff that you created last time. So this one, these cards load in, a mouse is gonna click on three of them and we want it to feel like they're being clicked so they should sort of like press in and out. Um, it's gonna show the recommending badge first and then you'll just see recommending me appear because um, there won't be any clicks to make that happen because that's the creators on the other side doing it, if that makes sense. Um, then we wanna transition away from this to this. I'm thinking that maybe the three photos here um, come with you and like move into place so that they end up in this looking UI and the numbers all count up, looking all impressive and such. At times you'll see these black bars here. This is where I'm showing you that we'll be transitioning from the motion graphic to footage of creators here. So the graphic kind of needs to animate out of the screen again, or we need to have the brush swipe, something like that. Um, this will be a text animation. We need to decide how the text will look for captions earlier in the video, but I just want it to be like real punchy. Here's how it works as it's being said. This is the same as the animation was created for the previous video, but I've just noted here that maybe we wanna hold on this frame a little bit longer. Then I'm thinking that we move these three photos into line and we have hearts coming up, sort of like, you know, on Instagram stories when someone's liked your story and like hearts float up. And that's because we're talking about um, uh, love in the voiceover. So I don't know, just thought it'd be cute, but definitely open to other ideas here too. Um, again, another transition to footage and we come back in we're seeing that ask creators recommending you get new followers on their list, representing that with a stylized version of our subscriber graph. I don't have this as a vector, I'm sorry, but hopefully this is enough for you to go ahead and create one with. Um, we're definitely taking some liberties here because we don't see obviously this graphic next to a graph in the app, but that's okay. It'll be heavily stylized. Um, so we see that graph growing up and then we see some representation of like you or your list comes in next to it. 
um, maybe with like a hand-drawn person in there. Uh, I'll leave that up to your license. And yeah, then we see your list growing as well. Not at the exact same rate as this one over here of the creator recommending you, um, but still like we're showing the idea that you grow together. Um, this is the part that I'm least sure of. So if you have other ideas of how we could represent this, please feel free to say. Um, and then we want to transition from here, like maybe through Joy's photo moving into place, um, into this uh, visual that you created for the last video, and then the CTA with just a tweak to the line. Thank you. Now that that loom is recorded, I am going to share it with my team for feedback, but I'm also going to go ahead and get started submitting it in Superside so that they can start scoping. We have like a set number of hours with them per month. And so they scope and tell us how many hours they think this one will take. I will check back in with you early next week when I hear back from them about our timeline and next steps and show you the proofs that we get along the way. This will be fun. <laughs> now Tuesday. Yesterday evening Superside got back to me with their estimate for the project. They said that they think it'll take between 30 to 38 hours to complete which I think is very reasonable. So I signed up on that, they got started and just now I was sent the first round of um, stills. So this is them taking the wireframes I'd sent through and starting to like polish them up, turn them into actual visuals that will be animated. This is what it's looking like. So they've put a background on this one here. Uh, I'm going to give them the feedback to remove this line because it's only appears on this one and I think that we should just keep things consistent by only having watercolors. I've also given them some very like nitty gritty feedback about the creators they're representing. I want to make sure we're telling a clear story here. So this screen is meant to be showing the creators who are recommending me and so we want to only feature the ones that we have recommending me labels on in the previous screen so that it all flows through. I'm like really paying attention to all of these details. They haven't styled this text possibly because I said this and obviously they don't know what captions we're doing earlier in the video yet. So yeah, I've given them some feedback on that. Um, I've said to use the blue hearts instead of the red. And this bit here is a bit we're having the most problems with. I think it's looking too complicated. So I've asked them to come up with some alternate ideas for this. Um, but overall, we're on the right track, I think, and it's great that they got me stuff today. I'm just gonna let them know that all my feedback is final now, and yeah, I expect that I will see another update tomorrow, so I'll update you tomorrow. We have received the first drafts of the motion graphics, and I'm about to go take a look at them. I'm really, really happy with where these are for a first draft. Um, I can tell that the team who've worked on them have learned from the feedback that I gave the last time we worked on a motion graphic together, and I honestly think there's very little that I need to ask for us to change, which is exciting. It's always so cool to see an idea that I had in mind come to life, like this um, shot here of the creators with the little hearts. For this bit here, this like start of the third scene, I had intended for there to be just the Joy Food Sunshine card first, and then the like your list comes in second, and you'll see why with the voiceover. Next step is for our filmmaker to put these into the edit of the video so that we can like review these motion graphics in context and let Superside know if there's anything we need to speed up. So yeah, we're gonna see how all the pieces are coming together now that we have these drafts. <laughs> Okay, so work got very busy as we reached the final stages of this project and I stopped filming daily updates. It's a few weeks later now, but let me catch you up. So we put together the first full edit of the video with the motion graphics, the footage of creators, our voiceover that we'd recorded. And this is where we're able to spot a few things where the timing needed to change and we gave all that feedback. We really like using Frame.io for video feedback like this. It's great to be able to leave like in line at time stamped. I don't know the right term for it. Comments that are relevant part of the video. It makes it really easy to understand what it is you're giving feedback on. At this point, David gave really useful feedback on the third section of the animation about the when another creator grows, you grow too. How it wasn't really looking like subscribers were flowing from one to the other. They were just sort of like growing in tandem. That was the kind of feedback where you're like, damn it, you're right. I need to address this. <laughs> this was a little mock-up David made to demonstrate what we thought should happen here, where like um, subscriber dots should flow over from one side to another. We had to go back and forth on this a bit. I guess it was a concept that myself and David like could see very clearly, but it was hard to communicate it. I like to be very details oriented at things like this too. So there was times where, for example, the dot wasn't like following along the line. It was sort of just hanging out under it. And I wanted it to feel like it was like a path flowing in. We got there in the end and I think it was worth taking that extra 
time to make those details right. Because with a motion graphic, we're using like stylized versions of the product and motion and concepts to explain the features and benefits rather than like doing a walkthrough demo video. So details like this are important and the impression that we wanted to give people is, you know, subscribers flowing from one to the other. Anyway, with all that explained, let me show you the finished product and then I'll share a few more last details about it. I've grown like 76%. I've gained over 500 subscribers. More than a thousand subscribers just in a few weeks. Every creator wants to grow, but you can only go so far on your own. So what if you could join forces with other creators to grow each other's email lists? The creator network is the most effective way for us to build relationships. And relationships are everything when it comes to succeeding as a creator. Before joining the ConvertKit Creator Network, subscriber growth was pretty slow. It took me like nine months on my own to get 585 subscribers. One month in the network is the same as nine months on my own. Everything I had to do was very manual. I had to post tweets, I had to manually reach out to potential partners and collaborators, and it was a lot of work. With the Creator Network, you can recommend and be recommended by your fellow creators to grow your newsletter lists together. It feels a little bit more like we have our own algorithm. And it really feels like one large club. Here's how it works. When new subscribers sign up to your list, they get to see the creators you recommend. You know these subscribers will love their content because you love their content. You can find other creators that align with the same kind of content you're creating. So I try to recommend newsletters that are complementary to mine. It means that I can focus more on doing the things that I really need to do, which is create the content. And as the creators recommending you get new followers on their list, your list gets a boost too. Because when one creator wins, all creators win. Join creators just like you to grow your newsletter faster without working harder. So those three creators that you saw in the video, they were part of our alpha group of testers testing out this new feature. And it was really cool that they had such good success with it that they wanted to film their own testimonial to tell us about the success. Henry, our wonderful filmmaker, sent them instructions for filming themselves at home, like what we needed from the footage so that we could compile it all together. And Henry was the one leading on this whole project, keeping us on track on a timeline. He put together like the original script and storyboard for the overall vision. We had Corey, who is the front end developer on our team, do the voiceover as well he's just got like I don't know a really great voiceover voice and so that was awesome that Corey contributed to that this was definitely a real team effort project which was super fun to work on and overall in the time that this project took us I'm just looking in Superside right now when I first submitted the brief I think it was two and a half weeks from submitting the brief to having like the final files that we were ready to insert in the final edit of the film so it was a pretty fast turnaround we did have a lot of back and forth and feedback during that time which is you know great to keep in constant communication and we were like working in parallel so while Superside were working on the motion graphics, Henry was cutting down the footage from creators and it all came together well in the end. The campaign video is now out there for the world to see and I hope you enjoyed hearing a bit of the process behind it. I vlogged the entire launch day of this feature because this is like one of the biggest product launches we've done for quite a while at ConvertKit and we, we went big with it. We did like a whole live stream. We had our like announcements on stage at our conference. So if you want to see what my involvement in that was and how a launch day felt for me as creative director, then you can go check out that vlog right there.